Acorns and pigeons, this is what we sealed Sieber's family ate to survive the winter. He was six. Alexa Sonipol was 10. She remembers people eating tree bark, frogs, and even earthworms. Fedir Putyansky remembers a boy admitting to eat the flesh of his own mother, who died of starvation. They were just children when the man-made famine killed millions of Ukrainians. Holodomor is not a tragedy of one or two families. It is an attempted extermination of an entire nation by the Soviet regime. Stalin's brigades pillaged Ukrainian villages in search of remaining grain. They were filled with hate towards Ukrainians, fueled by Soviet propaganda. We in the European Parliament say never again to the horrendous crimes of the 20th century. Russia, that tried to write history, 90 years later, Putin is now trying to repeat it. The historic parallel is uncanny. Just like 90 years ago, Russia is stealing the grain from Europe's bread basket, trying to break the Ukrainian spirit. Just like 90 years ago, war on Ukraine's national identity is fueled in by hateful propaganda. In Alexander Solzhenitsyn's word, 90 years ago, Ukrainians died on the very edge of Europe, and Europe didn't even notice it. The world even didn't notice it. Today, we have the choice to take notice and act fiercely to avert a strat tragedy which future generations will never forgive us. With today's resolutions, we call on the Russian Federation to recognize the Holodomor as a genocide and apologize for the crimes committed. Slava Ukraina.